Oh shit, I'm dead. Oh my god. Wow, I game over it on insta kill. Oh man. Well, it's over, guys. Damn, I don't, I don't know if I was gonna get reset at all that game, or not. I didn't even see that one guy that he like curled around me somehow. All right, so that right there was the conclusion to the 89 and a half hour game that took place on Black Ops 1 Shinunuma, not World at War, making this the current world record at round 169 set by myself. Now, how I got this far, uh, the strategy, what I do is I stand up in the starting room with the barrel shut and the gate open, and I stand up here for like about four to five seconds, wait for all the zombies to spawn in. Maybe you could leave sooner, but I usually stay up there for four to five seconds just in case there's one or two guys that's uh, ran through the trap a little later. And anyways, what I do then is... I run out of the room, well in this case I went to go get Thompson ammo, but I run out of the room and what I do now is all of the zombies are behind me, so I just run a few cutbacks, you know, do a little point whoring, uh, whatever, and then all of the zombies will be balled up, and instead of running straight through the trap, uh, what I want to do is I want to get them as far away from the trap as possible before I run, th uh, run over and turn it on. Because what that then does is it buys me enough time for me to get up to the room, the starting room, where I need to be to make all the zombies spawn up there and make the strategy nice and easy and safe. And what I do is I just run them straight through the trap and boom, you know, we're back to, uh, back to the start of the strategy. And then here we are again running the same loop and... You know, you might watch this once or twice, and you might think, man, this has got to be one of the easiest strategies I have ever seen. And that's simply because, well, it is one of the easiest strategies you might have ever seen. And you might be thinking, like, man, how does somebody go down three times doing this? I mean, that, they must be pretty bad, you know. I mean, and unfortunately... Um, the fact that this strategy is as safe it is, eh, I'm sorry, as the fact that the strategy is as safe it is as it is, man, can't talk, um, is what makes it so difficult, uh, <laughs> and that might not make too much sense, but right here, my controller ended up dying right as I went up to the room, that's why I was paused, and I didn't realize this is one of my downs, in case you were wondering. I didn't realize that I didn't stay in the room long enough. So right here, I'm just waiting for all the zombies to spawn out. And I walk down the stairs, and I'm like, hmm, why the hell are zombies spawning behind here? And I'm like, oh, shit. And then I go down, you know. Uh, and just the dumbest, the dumbest deaths. I mean, right here in this case, I couldn't hear the zombies because, you know, I'm just sitting here rocking out to Selena Gomez on my stream and, you know, just doing my own thing. And then... You know, there's zombies, you know, that I've got to, you know, uh, get away from and stuff. So, I mean, I forgot that I'm actually playing a video game. And, you know, just the way that you go down running the strategy is just in the dumbest ways. And right here, 163, uh, insta-kill round. Unfortunately, I got dogs. So <laughs> that uh, didn't make me too happy whenever I saw this. But... I mean, it didn't make me mad either, but, you know, it would have been pretty cool to get 163 dogs, but I got 167 and 169, like, because 168 was dogs, I got those back-to-back -back insta kill rounds, that was, that was pretty sick, so I would uh, definitely take that over a 163 dog round any day. So after getting dogs on 163, I was pretty disappointed, but I was also fairly excited to uh, see my first insta-kill round at round 165 and one thing that I learned very quickly was if you are not paying attention to what you're doing you actually can take it down during insta-kill which I ended up almost doing there um, I actually did that at 169 that's how I got my fourth and final down was um, I wasn't really thinking too much, and 
one thing led to another and I ended up going down um, because I am a noob at insta-kill rounds and maybe a noob at zombies but anyways so my strategy for insta-kill was I would just sit up here on the zip line and I would just spam HK and RPK ammo for about the first one third of the round and this was definitely the easiest part of the insta-kill rounds because I didn't even need to aim down sights or anything I didn't really need to move all I needed to do was press my trigger button and bam you know I was just getting kills like just you watch like the kills and my points uh, rack up and you know there really isn't too much to say about this uh, other than it was very very easy uh, as insta kill round you would expect it to be and now here's what I would do for the second half is I would sit behind this window and I would just board it up and use my Thompson ammo and I would use my Thompson ammo first because what I would do after I uh, got done using my Thompson was I would pull out my STG and try to use my STG as much as I could and then whenever I needed to I would drop down the zip line and I would go buy Thompson ammo then I would go back to the comm room buy some STG ammo then come back all the way up here and then you know continue to do this and it looks very very easy and it is pretty easy as long as you're not trying to do anything like YOLO status which I uh, <laughs> ended up doing at 169 as you could have seen as you saw at the start of the video and anyways so what I would do is I would just come over here I would switch spots and play it a little safer and stand on the zip line itself and then attempt to drop down whenever I got hit like once or twice um, you don't want to drop down whenever you're red screened which is uh, what I did big mistake because that will lead to a down because you do take fall damage whenever you fall off the zip line but other than that I don't think there's really too much to say uh, about this map it is very simple very easy and just very time consuming if you are going to try to go for the record on this map i would just have to tell you that this is this map is not about skill it is mainly about willpower